guys I'm here today to do the uh, dreadlock tag video I have been meaning to do this video for quite some time I think when I first saw it uh, I think that was when I was having technical difficulties and um, it kind of slipped my mind you know after that so I'm here so we're gonna do it here we go it's 20 questions warning this video is going to be long because y'all know I'm long-winded all right here we go <laughs> do you remember the specific moment you decided you were going to dread your hair where were you and how did you feel yeah I do I, I remember it because it was uh, I don't know I just I, I kind of felt like because of the circumstances of what happened I kind of felt like it was just uh, it, it was you know spirit okay I was intended first intended on dreading my hair uh, I wanted to be done by my birthday. I wanted my dress to have the same birthday as me, which is uh, April the 1st, and this was 2008. Now, I had been researching, you know, and, and thinking about it for quite a while before that, um, and then kind of decided, yeah, that's, that's when I want to do it. I want it done on my birthday. Well, I kind of chickened out. Um, chickening out meaning... I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted small, you know, I, I wanted very small dreads, similar to sim, uh, sister locks, but I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to put them in myself, wanted to maintain them myself. So I knew twisting was, you know, going to be out of the question. And uh, I just could not from, from the information that was out there on interlocking, latching, whatever you want to call it. It wasn't uh, visual enough for me. I couldn't get the, the process from the pictures um, and the uh, written instructions, you know, on how to do it. So I put it off. I chickened out. Then uh, Miss Butterfield uh, 001 first came out with um, a video showing how she made her own nappy lock tool with the paper clip. And I watched her do it, and, and it kind of was, you know, I was kind of catching on, but I still didn't quite get it to where I would be confident enough to try it myself. Then I would say about a month or two, a month and a half, whatever, later, Miss Butterfly came out with her video um, showing, you know, how she made, she was inspi inspired by Meal 001. For making your, you know, your own nappy lock tool and for interlocking, she wanted to try it because she was, you know, twisting her locks. And it was her video that, after watching it, now it took me several times. I mean, I watched it over and 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 over again. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Um, but after I, I finally, you know, I finally got it, and I said, okay. I'm going to try it, you know, I'm going to put a test lock in. And I was wearing, you know, two strand twists at the time. So my hair was already parted. And I thought that I would keep that same, you know, grid pattern, I guess you'd say, um, though it not, it's not necessarily a grid, um, keep that same, you know, parting. So I started one and I started one right behind my ear on this side, you know, interlocked it from tip, you know, to, to scalp. And uh, with the intention of letting that stay, and that was like I said, uh, around the third week of July. I want to say probably July 23rd, July 21st, somewhere around in there of 2008. And uh, with the intentions of letting that stay until uh, October, November uh, of that you know year, uh, because it's you know too hot, and I don't want to be trying to put that in you know in the summer. So. Got that done, and uh, I realized that um, quickly realized that I was not going to interlock my entire head because it took me 45 minutes to an hour just for that one lock, and my hair was um, especially back here because it, it grows a little bit faster back here, and this is where some of my longer dreads are um, seven inches. So I was like, nah, there's no way I'm going to do my whole head. So I let it say, you know, like I said, 
thinking, okay, I, I'll put them in when it gets cool in November or late October. Then, August the 16th, it got, I mean, I was, I was, I remember this clearly. Yeah, that morning, uh, it was early that morning. And I had already, you know, had to reach for the sheep. Now, you know, if y'all remember, especially, you know, y'all have been with me for a while, I know that I don't use air conditioning. So, you know, I thought it was kind of strange that I'm, you know, reaching for the sheep. You know, I'm grabbing around, you know, trying to not wake myself up, trying to find out what the, where's the sheep gone to pull it up over me. And then I woke up a little bit later and I was under the sheep, you know. So I had to go find a blanket. Remember, this is August, mid-August, 16th, Alabama. It's normally hot as you know, do you know what here? So that told me when I got up, you know, after I, of course, groped around trying to find a blanket, you know, which I had pushed way back in the closet because you know, you're not going to need a blanket in August, right? And, you know, but at the back of my mind, too, while I was doing that, it, it told me, you know, it's like spirit said, it's time. It's time to put them in. So, yep. When I got up that morning, I started working on my head and finished putting them in uh, on the 23rd of August 2008. So, and I have best thing that I've ever done and I'm still enjoying every minute of it. Okay, long answer. For one what question. method, if any, did you use to start your dreadlocks? Braids, I used braids. How old are your dreadlocks? They will be three years August the 23rd of 2011. So right now they are two and three quarter years old. <laughs> what is the length of your longest dread and shortest? The longest one is um, eight inches, which is this one at my ear. And the shortest one is on the same side. Let me see if I can find it because she likes to tuck herself. There she is. There she is. This is my baby lock. And I forgot to. Oh, no, that's not her. That's not her. Where's she at? Where's she at? I can't find her. She had. I guess she don't want to be on camera. There she is. <laughs> there she is. I would say I forgot to measure her. I would say she about four inches. Uh, do you have any dreads that are especially unique, strange, or awesome? All of them are. All of them are. I wouldn't say strange, but they're Okay, how many dreads people. do you have currently, and is that the same number you started with? No. Uh, I have about 370. I think that's the, the correct number that I counted quite a while ago. Um, I started out with uh, 400 braids. What shampoo or other products do you use on your dreads? I use raw African black soap liquefied uh, and infused with herbs. To shampoo, uh, I use a herb infused ACV um, for my, to cleanse my scalp and I use an herb infused coconut oil to uh, oil my locks. Do not oil my scalp at all. Okay. Uh, how often do you wash your dreads? Once a week. Sometimes I'll do it. Before I was doing it twice a week, two to three times a week. Uh, but now it's once a week. Do you do any regular maintenance on your dreads? I, I used to. Um, I used to. I started out every about seven weeks interlocking six seven weeks then I went to four weeks every four weeks and then I extended that back out to uh, two months and then extended it out to three months and now I'm currently trying to go six months in between uh, maintenance and the only thing I do in between that is wash make sure that I um, separate the beads or other decorations that would be I don't know if you can see that. These are just, you know, regular beads that are uh, used for, you know, jewelry making. But they're small enough 
to go on my you know really small locks and I got three of those and that's really the only jewelry that I put in uh, I haven't been putting them putting them in lately so uh, I guess I need to go back and start doing that if your dreads had their own personal motto what would it be live life authentically and be free that that yeah that if you could start a new set of dreads what would you do anything differently nope the only thing that I would do if you know can't do because you can't do this and that would be turn back the hands of time so that I could have started much earlier but can't do that so <laughs> no <laughs> is there anything else unique about your appearance other than dreadlocks tattoos piercings etc nah the only thing I have is just you know two holes in each ear um, the second the, the upper hole I don't know if you can see these you know holes the second hole that I usually wear a stud in those were done the old-fashioned way uh, old-fashioned meaning a needle that's you know where you burn the tip and and sterilize it in alcohol that's it uh, my mom at 16 I got the first you know the first uh, piercing and I wanted a second one and but and money was you know tight during that time and uh, I didn't want to wait until you know I could save up uh, enough on my own because I think I, I'm thinking it was about twenty five thirty dollars at the time to uh, you know to get your ears pierced you know with the gun uh, you know and a kid you know during that time that was the 80s I didn't have that so uh, and you know me being uh, <laughs> wanting to do it frugally I was too chicken to do it myself so but I knew somebody who knew how to do it so um, yeah she, um, she she did it for me for you know no cost at all um, yeah <laughs> but that's it that's the only only unusual thing and, and that's probably not so unusual because I think a lot of people were doing that during uh, that time let's see how many people do you know personally with dreadlocks uh, one good friend and I know of uh, one two about four or five other people um, that bowl in uh, that bowl in the league and um, it's I think three two or three guys and two ladies um, have any employers turned you down for having dreads any wanted you because of your dreads uh, that's a kind of a can't really answer or can't answer either one of those because when I started my locks I was you know uh, not working at all What's and I'm the still not question working, so. you've gotten about your dreads dumbest funniest most common when are you gonna take those out or um, how do how do you do those each week <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband uh, it, and this is funny to me because he refers to all locks no matter how they were started how long they are how old they are he calls them braids my, whole, my husband is, is, is quite a bit older than I am so um, he's real old school <laughs> so it's just kind of funny to me you know because they'd be like yeah so up with the braids you know, I have to think a minute. Okay, no, he he <laughs> he calls them all. Uh, have you ever had all. a freak accident or embarrassing moment involving your dreads? Um, no, no, not really. The only thing now that, that was at home. Uh, yeah, you know, now my locks are. That's why I'm trying to find ways to pin them back because they're they're too short to to wear in a ponytail. Um, but they're you know these ones in my face in the front because my front go grows a little bit longer than the back or faster than the back and they're you know in my face so a couple times I just about um, you know my lock these front locks decided they wanted to drink whatever it was I was drinking and it, it just about you know got in there and I think my husband just happened to be he was talking so he was looking at me and, and we kind of had a little chuckle about that do you have any dreaded role models if so who um, Janelle Porter and um, the lady uh, that worked at the library at, at my local library she's no longer there 
Um, but I remember when she started her dread journey um, and, and Janelle Porter too, because I found her not too long after she had started her dread journey. And the reason these two ladies were very inspirational for me is because um, I knew that they were at least 40 or over. And, um, you know, I was 42 when I started my dread. So uh, that was, you know, very, very, very uh, just, you know, uh, just gave me that, you know, that extra oomph, you know, because I'm like, if these ladies can do it, so can I. Uh, Shelsky 68 and I think I'm saying her name right uh, the author of uh, the Nighty Truth who has just put out uh, a uh, block book um, she was one of my role models inspirations for braid locks um, she had a blog up uh, when she was starting her uh, braid locks and I pretty much you know followed it uh, religiously so that <laughs> that gave me you know the inspiration too you know and she's a DIY herself so um, yeah though those three ladies were probably my biggest um, biggest inspirations for locking besides Miss CJA um, you know she I seen her um, previous lock journey um, and um, Evelyn Prather who had sister locks um, who has since cut them, but, um, and Starla Motivates, who also has cut her locks, but, um, they, those three ladies helped me out, um, tremendously, because I think I asked them a million and one questions, um, <laughs> you know, uh, before, um, I actually, you know, decided, you know, how I was going to do it, so. What dreaded YouTubers could you see yourself hanging out with in real life? Miss CJA. Uh, who else? Mosaic Maiden. Uh, Miss CJA is my little sis. And Mosaic Maiden is my big sis. Definitely. Um, QO Chemist. Uh, Think Nappy Thoughts. J6 Forever. Um, my Lele 18, uh, the dreaded empress. She's my uh, other uh, little. She's she's my little sis. Uh, uh, herbal herbal tinkerer. Um, oh, how can I forget? How can I forget? Shaggy Locks seven. Uh, Queen Rella seventy seven. Candy sweetheart. Wage G29. I think I hope I got the number right. Um, I just I love the spirit. I absolutely love the spirit of of all of these folks. I could I could just see us all hanging and out. And last yeah. question, who are you gonna tag? Anybody else of my subscribers um, that have dreads and you want to do this tag? Do it. <laughs> all right, this is long enough because I got since I had to do this in two parts. Uh, I've got some serious editing to do, but it's still going to be a long video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.